Welcome to another episode of Fougere Family Adventures. Today, I am fishing 10 Mile Lake here in British Columbia, and I'm targeting kokanee. Today, I'm gonna try jigging for kokanee. I'm gonna be using a variety of jigs, like kokanee slammers, big nasty tackle rattle jigs, and buzz bombs. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. So today, we're shallow water jigging. I'm marking fish already on the bottom. So I'm just going to drop to the bottom and I'm going to lift up and <laughs> first fish, first drop. Oh, and he's gone. That's what we're doing. So as I was trying to show you, I cast out a little bit of ways from my boat because I'm drifting this way. And as soon as my jig hits the bottom, I should be close to straight up and down. Now I'm able to get a couple jigs in, hopefully before a fish bites here. And I just jig and I just make sure that I'm touching the bottom. When you know there's a lot of fish around, you can be a foot or two off the bottom. Got a fish on me right now, just small jigs. You want him to find that jig, you pull it away from him and he might not be able to find it right away. So he didn't want it, so I'm gonna reel up. I'm gonna try and get him to chase it. And he's coming up. There's two of them now. And I'm just gonna just slightly jig it. Now you can see my line has really started going behind the boat. So now would be a good time to either spin around and face the other way or reset my, my jig. I'm gonna reset. Oh, I can't even drink coffee right now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I've had to go searching for another school. I was hooking fish, but they just weren't committing enough. If I don't get a bite here, I'm going to have to change something else. I've changed my scent, I've changed my jig a few times. The lake has died right down, so I'm not drifting as much. That might play a factor into the kokanee bite. Time of day, the height of the sun in the, in the sky, sometimes that can play a part. There he is, finally. Ooh, it's a nice one. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> That's my first kokanee on an orange big nasty tackle rattle jig. That's a pretty nice kokanee. Good size for this time of the year. We're at the beginning of June. So this size will grow quite a bit bigger before the fall. The last fish, I was just working that rattle, just tapping it just enough to kind of make a little bit of noise in the water. There he is. Woo! <laughs> it's pinned pretty good. <laughs> there you go. Nice kokanee on a blue holographic buzz bomb. That's uh, pretty cool. That guy slammed it, absolutely slammed it. I've lost, I don't know, 10, I've missed 10 hits. Two fish in the cooler. Always wanna make sure you keep your catch fresh. Keep them in a cooler. Whether you use ice packs like I'm using today for a small or a short day trip, or if you're using cubed ice or frozen water bottles in water solution, keep your catch fresh. There he is. Oh yeah. Just slam that buzz bomb. He's fighting hard. These fish are loving the buzz bomb today. Nice. Another one with the buzz bomb. Yeah, there you go. This kokanee here has absolutely pinned himself on this buzz bomb. This buzz bomb is free to slide. So the good thing about jigs like this is once this buzz bomb slides out of the way, that fish cannot pry himself off of his lure. So this fish here, he's got two hooks in him, one in the top and one in the jaw. The top is extremely tough for him to pry off. You can see that he's absolutely hooked himself. And I love to use larger hooks. If you watch a lot of my videos, I use large hooks for kokanee. And this is one of the reasons. 
that fish is not coming off. That fish is stuck on there. So he can pull all he wants and those hooks will stay in him. Back into the fish again, using a blue holographic buzz bomb. And the sun is shining at just the right angle, I would imagine, when the sun rays are reflecting into the water. This is helping reflect that blue holographic color into the water. And I have a power bait crappy niblet on as well, with some anise scent on my buzz bomb. And that seems to be helping. That power bait is on the treble hook and it's right in the middle of the treble hook. So it's acting as a focal point. So when those fish come in, they're coming in and they're trying for that little piece and they're getting all the hooks in their mouth. It's working really well. Oh, missed them. So the angle of my boat, as long as I'm not blocking the sun into the water, that's helping as well. So I'm spinning my boat when I can so that I can get a good angle into the water of the sunlight. I don't want to be casting a shadow. I want to be taking full advantage of those sun rays in the water, helping attract the fish to my lure. Now I'm chasing the fish on my fish finder that are moving up and down. If I get a fish follow and he stops and he's staying level, that fish isn't as active as the other fish that are moving up and down on my fish finder. So pay close attention to your fish finder if you're using one. So I had one little bump there. It hasn't been terribly fast. I'm gonna keep changing things. I think I'm gonna change the scent again. It's the quickest thing to change, a little gel scent. So I've changed my scent quickly. Just a dab of that Gibbs Delta Kokanee Special scent. Number four, big nasty tackle. This, these rattle jigs are just dynamite. Another nice one. <laughs> big nasty tackle rattle jig. Absolutely amazing this fish. Now my line is swinging out away from the boat, but I'm able to keep my line close to the bottom. So I'll let it swing out a bit. I'll fish it a bit. And if I'm not getting hit, I will reel in and reset. There you go. Just had to find the active fish. It's awesome. They love the buzz bomb. This guy is rolling. Oh. Pretty good here. Love it. Smaller guy, smaller school. He swallowed that hook. Okay, there's no way that guy would have survived if I let him go. This guy swallowed the hook. There's no way this fish was coming off on a blue holographic buzz bomb. And you can see, absolutely swallowed it. So there's no way that this fish was gonna come off. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this coming soon.